Hello, my name is Ben Nair, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about the psychological effects of COVID-19 and lockdown on our youth. Without further ado, let's get started. In the hopefully not so distant future, the COVID-19 outbreak will be an event of the past. Life will return to normal, whichever that was, and humanity will breathe a collective sigh of relief. Eventually, COVID-19 will become a minuscule atom in the prodigious body of history. Nothing more than a curriculum-based topic for future students. The future textbooks will mention the countless lives lost throughout the pandemic, the unforgettable endeavors of Sir Captain Tom Moore raising over 32 million pounds for the NHS, the economical struggle, the estimate of 830,000 who are unemployed during this period, and of course, the stand of the NHS. Yet, none of these textbooks, or a small minority of them, will mention the psychological battle, specifically that fought by the youth of this world. Many adults may have thought that of all people, the youth would have been the least affected. After all, the pandemic would have relieved them of early mornings, excessive travel, and then the whole entire supposed burden of schoolwork and homework would have been decreased or eased, would it not? So you may ask, which psychological battle? Well, in Spain, during the pandemic, 48% of teenagers aged 18 to 25 were experiencing moderate depression, according to a survey study. In a similar study held by PubMed.gov, nearly 40% of a sampled youth group in the UK had a tendency to have a psychological issue ranging across the spectrum. Additionally, in the same survey, 14.4% of the sampled youth group admitted to experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms or PTSD symptoms. So to all those dubious adults, when I say psychological battle, I mean this one. I chose this topic as I myself experienced mild anxiety during the first lockdown, though by no means did it feel mild. I feel like this topic is quite relatable as it involves science and a form of personal experience, two concepts that I am comfortable working alongside. Back to the topic now. It will obviously be quite worrying that such a psychological battle has occurred, seeing as the youth, or Generation X, will be the ones to create a foreseeable future for the advancement of humanity. Why is it occurring? There is no simple answer to such a question. For one, there is the unavoidable alteration of everyone's best friend, puberty. Few will have remembered that amidst the struggles of the pandemic and fluctuant lockdowns, teenagers indeed have to undergo bodily changes, hormonal alterations, and overall maturity. The lockdown, having practically stopped everything else, has had no effect on terminating puberty. So what really does happen in puberty that causes such psychological strain? Well, in puberty, several neurotransmitters, which are basically just chemical messengers, are minim minimally produced. Examples of these are serotonin, which provides content, and oxytocin, uh, which is known as the color hormone. The minim minimal production of these uh, neurotransmitters provides for less social inclination for our teenagers and increases the probability for a teen to undergo episodes of depression and anxiety. It can be easily inferred from this that spending the entirety of the day inside of one's home for over a year maybe isn't the best way to tackle with such a situation. Here we see a reason for the negative mental health effects of COVID-19 and lockdown on our youth. Aside from the chemicals in the brains of the youth, simple bodily changes such as pubic hair and acne aren't exact mental health strength boosters. On a more serious note, these bodily changes are necessary for the transformation between childhood and adulthood. But many see them as triggers for bullying and peer pressure. While bullying and peer pressure are indeed serious psychological impactors, 
simply raising the awareness about youth struggles or showing acknowledgement for the negative mental health effects of youth during this lockdown can help. It is rather the lack of knowledge that accounts for nearly 70% of successful suicides in 2020. So audience, I ask you with closed hands to help those you know or even suspect to be suffering mentally. But back to the lockdown. Aside from puberty, lockdown itself has come with its own cons in terms of mental health. The simple stress of knowing we could lose loved ones, the feeling of being helpless while colleagues, friends, and family struggle, it is a seriously undermining mental health factor. Humanity, as a species, is not so used to being in the dark. So it will obviously be quite worrying that we do not know who has the virus and who doesn't. Social media isn't helping this at all. While we pretty much fully depend on virtual sources for our news, headlines such as over 3.16 lakh new cases in India of COVID-19 recorded, highest ever for dot, 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 aren't exact mood lifters. It's fair to say that lockdown has had its toll on all of us. But those in the education sector have had a particularly rough time. The stress of education on top of this world crisis is a defining factor when it comes to the mental health of our youth. According to a study by Mind.org, nearly 75% of students admitted to a decline in mental health during lockdown. All of these things lead to one point. Lockdown really has affected our youth. It can be aided though. If you are suffering mentally, whether that be from depression, anxiety, or even the aforementioned PTSD symptoms, then speak up about it, because it could help you in unimaginable ways. However, this may be hard, whether that be to stereotyping, ignorance, or even lack of belief. So more importantly, as again, aforementioned, if you know or believe someone to be suffering mentally, then help them. This could range from a simple talk to an organized therapy that could potentially save someone's mental health and in turn, their life. Being stuck inside of our homes for over a year has caused feelings of frustration, anger, irritation, and resentment. Feelings that our youth, or anyone in that matter, shouldn't be made to feel. As my parents say, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Well, if that's true, the devils have been doing a lot of work. And that work has been tampering with our mental health. So going into the future, try and value mental health, not just your own. Because remember, it can quite literally shape the future. Thank you for listening to my TEDx speech today.